Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lamina Mahogany back with another video. So today I tried out this blow dryer and diffuser. It is the Infinity Pro by Conair and it comes with this diffuser attachment. It comes with the regular um, blow dryer attachment as well but I bought this because I needed a diffuser. I'm trying out cool heat on my hair. I don't put any heat on my hair, on my natural hair at all, ever. This is my first time owning a blow dryer since I've been natural and I started going natural like six years ago, seven years ago, in that range. So this is all new to me. Um, I did try, I think it was in 2019, like January, I believe. I did try straightening my hair with a flat iron so that I could do Bantu knots. And I kind of wore that style for like the whole month of January last year and completely damaged my hair. Well, I wouldn't say completely. The left side had so much damage that it I cut a lot of the damage off and I couldn't really do all of it because it was so much. So if you watch my trim video, which I put up before this, you'll see that the left side of my hair is a little bit shorter than the right side of my hair and it's just because the left side for some reason took so much damage when I was trying out Bantu knots on like straightened hair. That was the last time that I tried heat. Like I'm done with heat. Um, wait, no actually I got my hair done at a salon um, for my birthday last year in October. And I think I may have sat under a, a blow, like a hair dryer or blow dryer. I don't know. I don't remember. But I myself do not use heat on my hair. I tried that one time in January. That was a fail. My hair is still trying to recover from that. Um, which is why I did a really big trim in the video before this. Kind of got my hair a little bit more even on both sides um but yeah that's not what you're here for what you're here for is to see the results from me trying out a diffuser for the first time on a wash and go style um it took about 40 minutes from the time that i finished my uh, putting all the product in for my wash and go to diffusing my hair for my hair to dry it's about I would say it's about 98 to 99% dry. Um, you'll see in a little while what my hair looked like before I started diffusing and this is what it looks like now. I'm going to try and turn around so you can see the back. Okay, so that was the back of my hair. I hope you could see it. I'm still trying to figure out this filming situation. This is a new space I'm in by myself. And it's small. I have a studio. So I'm still trying to figure out um, filming and lighting and stuff like that. But these are the results. I would say this is the result of like a day three air dry wash and go. Um, I cannot do air dry wash and goes at least while we are in the house in our homes inside on quarantine i have no wind flow no nothing to help dry my hair like i would if i was commuting to work or something like that but since we're at home um i tried to do a wash and go two weeks ago three two or three weeks ago on my hair and it never dried so I just had to end up putting it back into a bun and letting everything dry and just rocking it like that but I like wearing my hair naturally curly and so you know that's just my style that's what I prefer so I went ahead and got this diffuser um I actually searched on YouTube for 
what diffusers people with type 4 hair use and that was the most common one so I bought it um, I'm gonna share a video well I'm gonna film a video in a week kind of sharing more of my thoughts about the diffuser um, and updating you about what my hair looks like a week after washing and diffusing now if I mean, because this already looks like day three hair. So say by day five that, you know, it's time to wash again, it's time to restyle, then I'll film that day and wash and restyle that day as well. So either way it goes, whether it's day five or day seven, I'm coming back to you and I'll let you see what my hair looks like um, after days of days after I've diffused. I'm like so lost for words right now. The texture is great. Just a little bit off the dome. The texture is cool. It's not as defined as it would be if I did air dry. Um, I will also add that I did not put product on sopping wet hair like I would um, if I was air drying. I will probably try that next time. I will say that diffusing it is kind of leaving like product buildup on my hair. And you, I don't know if you could tell, but there's a little bit of product buildup like that cast. Um, and so I'm hoping that, you know, as I moisturize with a little bit of oil, well, you don't moisturize with oil, but put some oil back into the hair during the week that and kind of like once it gets 100% dry kind of scrunch it um that that will come out but other than that I would say I have very good results off top yeah so that's it for this video um for my first time using a blow dryer diffuser on my natural hair I think I have great results. The fact that I can put my hair in a pineapple, put my satin scarf on, and then go to bed on my pillow like that without having to put down an extra towel or anything like that. Like, this is amazing. And it did take 40 minutes, but that's because my hair is so thick um, and dense. I don't mind 40 minutes compared to three or four days or never, you know, 40 minutes is great for me. Um, but yeah, I will put the products that I used for my wash and go here and I will be trying new products for my hair. I, I kind of tend to stick to the same things once I find that something works. I'll just stick to the same things. But I do do the curl. I do do. I use the curly girl method and I do the lock method. Finding new products, trying new products on my hair when my hair is so finicky has been hard. But I'm going to do it because I want to try it. So many great products out here, like, why not, sis? Just go ahead and do it. Um, and, yeah, again, I keep ranting, I keep talking. That's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you got something from it. I hope maybe you're encouraged to try a diffuser. Um, I will say that, because I didn't talk much about the diffuser, right? So the diffuser has a cold button. It has this little button here I guess that has hot warm and cool and then it has high low and off so I use this on low and cool and then I use the cold button and switch back and forth between cool and cold for the um, 40 minutes that I was diffusing my hair and this is the result I got and I think it's pretty good see you guys in the next video